the AFRTS News Center in Washington, this is the Two Minute Report. I'm Petty Officer Quinn Litton. On this edition, base closure. Defense officials say they'd like to stop spending money on bases they don't want so they can spend more money on things they do want, like training and weapons. But the authority to start another round of base realignments and closures, or BRAC, lies with Congress. And how does Congress feel about BRAC? A reporter at the fiscal year 2000 budget briefing summed up the situation this way for Defense Secretary William Cohen. As soon as you mentioned the word BRAC, you could sort of hear the uh, Capitol Dome creak. You know, that's never been a very popular thing on the Hill. Uh, I know. What's your feel? <laughs> but after that light moment, the secretary put the pressure on. And they will have to make a decision, um, I would hope this year, but they will have to make that decision as to whether they would rather keep facilities we no longer need or take the savings and put them into the hands of the men and women who we asked to defend us. Mr. Cohen said they many Congress members don't like to make that choice. That's because the communities they represent have to cope with the upheavals and changes that come with a base closure or major realignment. It's a tough issue for any member. What I've tried to do in uh, the last uh, couple of years is to go around and point out that there is life after BRAC. The secretary earlier visited one state where new life was found after a base closed. He told the Illinois General Assembly that their city of Rantoul came up with a dynamic plan to reuse its closed down Air year. Force Base. Today there are commercial and industrial elements and tenants producing $1.2 million in annual revenues and 1,400 new jobs. Secretary Cohen is asking for two more rounds of BRAC. He says that will save the Department of Defense $20 billion. That's the two-minute report. From Washington, I'm Petty Officer Quinn Litton. On Two Minute Plus, review the history of BRAC on the Defense Department's official website, DefenseLink.